Reynolds number is a dimensionless number it gives us an understanding of the behavior of uh, fluids uh, flowing in a pipe or over some object. Let's uh, look at this uh, experiment that helps us understand this concept. Let's say that there is a pipe and uh, we have a certain fluid uh, flowing through the pipe. Let's say water is flowing through this pipe and also there is a way to introduce a certain dye uh, meaning some other fluid that has uh, a different color in it uh, could be ink for example and what we will do is as this fluid is flowing in the pipe we will introduce this uh, dye into the uh, around the center of this pipe now depending on the flow conditions uh, there are different observations that you might make for certain flow we may see this dye as it is introduced moving in a fairly straight line inside the pipe. Uh, in other words, that colored dye is uh, going along with the fluid uh, in the pipe in a, in a fairly steady manner. If we increase the flow rate and if we introduce the dye now uh, into water, we will observe that uh, the uh, movement of the dye is now not a very smooth straight line, but it begins to move in sort of jagged manner. If we increase the flow even further, we will see a lot more chaotic movement of that dye and uh, that may also cause mixing of the dye uh, very quickly as it is introduced uh, into the pipe. So what's going on here? Um, so the flow characteristics of a fluid are influenced by the properties of the fluid. Uh, so the uh, properties such as density, viscosity and so on are uh, having an impact and also the dimension of the liquid solid interface. So in this case the liquid is coming into contact with solid, solid being a pipe. Uh, so the diameter of this pipe will have an impact on the flow characteristics and also the velocity of the fluid will have an impact on the flow characteristics. So there are three things uh, properties of the liquid, dimension of the liquid solid interface and the velocity of the fluid. Now as the velocity is increased the momentum or the inertial forces uh, will increase. Remember momentum uh, or inertia is the mass times the velocity. So if you increase velocity you will increase inertia so the inertial forces increase. Also, the forces that oppose the flow uh, will also change. So Reynolds observed that one can uh, create a ratio of inertial forces divided by viscous forces. So the inertial forces will include the mass which can be also expressed through density. So we will have a rho times the velocity uh, times the diameter in this case which will be the dimension uh, term divided by and the vis viscous forces are expressed by mu and that is the viscosity. So if we have th these three terms rho u d upon mu we get a dimensionless number and we call this the Reynolds number. Note that d is the characteristic dimension. Now Reynolds number is a dimensionless number. So first let's see if that is true. Uh, we have for density the units are kilogram per cubic meters. For velocity the units are meter per second. For d the uh, diameter the units are meters divided by the units for viscosity are kilogram per meter second. So now we can go ahead and uh, cancel out the kilograms. Uh, we will cancel out the cubic meter term and the second term. So all the units cancel out. So in other words the Reynolds number uh, does not have any units and it is dimensionless. Now we can also express Reynolds number in a slightly different manner. Note that from continuity equation m dot equals rho which was density times a area times velocity. 
u. So we can write u equals m dot over rho a. Now we can substitute this uh, u, the velocity, the average velocity u, in Reynolds number. Uh, Reynolds number was rho u d over mu. And uh, if we substitute for u, we have rho m dot over rho a d over mu. Then rho and rho will cancel out. And we are left with m dot d over a mu. So in a circular pipe that has a diameter d, the cross-sectional area is pi d square over 4. So we have Reynolds number equals m dot d over, instead of area now, we write pi d square, and the 4 will be in the numerator, and uh, we are left with uh, mu, and then we will cancel out the diameter term d with one of the d's here, and uh, we are left with Reynolds number equals 4 m dot divided by pi mu d. Note that Reynolds number can be expressed in either of these two forms uh, as 4 m dot over pi mu d or Reynolds number equals rho u d over mu. Both of these are the same. So in qualitative terms, Reynolds number is a uh, ratio between inertial and the viscous forces. So if you substitute the various values for a given example where you know the mass flow rate or the velocity and you know the diameter of the pipe and you know the viscosity of the fluid and if that number happens to be less than 2100 then we call the flow as laminar flow. So in our uh, experiment when you have that straight line behavior of the dye that was introduced in the fluid, uh, that is called laminar flow. And if the Reynolds number is greater than 4000, then it is called turbulent flow. So uh, when you had this chaotic movement of the uh, dye uh, in the pipe, uh, that is the case of turbulent flow. And between 2100 and 4000, we call it the transitional flow. This is where uh, the flow is transitioning from laminar to turbulent conditions. And uh, we will see uh, the application of this concept uh, in trying to uh, characterize the flow uh, either as laminar flow or transitional flow or turbulent flow uh, in uh, some uh, numerical example.